आई वेलकम यू ऑल एंड आई एम वेरी श्योर आप बहुत अच्छे तरीके से यू पीपल मस्ट बी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस पेपर विच इज ऑन फिफ्थ आई थिंक एंड प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जाम एंड ये जो रिसेंट आई आर एम एस का आया है इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट मे नॉट बी बॉदरिंग यू मच एंड यू पीपल मस्ट बी प्रिपेयरिंग गुड लेट दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन नॉट अफेक्ट यू इन एनी वे एंड यू नो द टॉपिक विच आई चोजन जो आज मैं डिस्कस करूंगा विच आई प्रोमिस यू दैट आई विल डिस्कस दिस लुक्स लाइक इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट के अंडर मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का टॉपिक है और इन माई ओपिनियन दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस इंक्रीजेज इवन मोर बिकॉज जो इंडियन रेलवे मैनेजमेंट सर्विस का सारे का सारा स्ट्रक्चर रेलवे मिनिस्टर या चेयरमैन डिस्कस कर रहे हैं रेलवे बोर्ड के दैट एक्चुअली सिंपली मींस के जो पहले हरारकिकल डिपार्टमेंट थे एट डिपार्टमेंट्स जिनको सिलोज भी बोलते हैं अब वो डिपार्टमेंट्स को मर्ज करके एक स्ट्रक्चर बन रहा है एंड लेट मी टेल यू दैट इज नथिंग बट मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओनली सो दे आर ट्राइंग टू मेक द मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आई एम हैप्पी के आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक व्हेन वी हैव द रियल एग्जांपल ऑफ सच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ इन द इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस सो मैट्रिक्स तो वी ऑल ऑफ अस नो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ मैट्रिक्स हॉरिजॉन्टल एंड वर्टिकल कॉलम्स वगैरह उसमें रहते हैं मैट्रिक्स uh, ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का मतलब कि जो टॉप मैनेजमेंट है जैसे चेयरमैन हो गया रेलवे बोर्ड वगैरह के जो भी बन गए एंड मेंबर्स वगैरह बन गए दैट इज अ टॉप मैनेजमेंट फिर टॉप मैनेजमेंट के नीचे क्या होता है कि देर आर डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड यू नो व्हेन रेलवे मिनिस्टर टोल्ड के वाई वी आर गोइंग टू रिस्ट्रक्चर रेलवे तो ही सेट की वी हैव फिफ्टी लैख करोड ऑफ रुपीज टू बी स्पेंड इन कपल ऑफ इयर्स ऑन द प्रोजेक्ट सो वी हैव लॉट मेनी प्रोजेक्ट तो दिमाग में एक चीज रखना की मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की रिक्वायरमेंट तब पड़ती है जब योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज हैविंग लॉट मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स और वो प्रोजेक्ट्स भी डिफरेंट डोमेन्स के ऐसा नहीं कि एक ही टाइप के प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड इंडियन रेलवे यू नो इज अ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज अ बेसिकली बिग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन इट जिसमें अलग अलग डोमेन के प्रोजेक्ट्स होते हैं प्रोजेक्ट्स में भी रिलेटेड टू इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड यू रिमेंबर ही टोल्ड के अब जो होगा डिपार्टमेंट वो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बन जाएगा या फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट अलग से बन जाएगा जो इसके बारे में सोचेगा तो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अलग चीज है मॉडर्नाइजेशन अलग चीज है एफिशियंसी एंड कस्टमर ओरिएंटेशन अलग चीज है तो वो सारे के सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स अलग प्रोजेक्ट्स होंगे मे बी एक प्रोजेक्ट विल डील विद के इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलप करना है दूसरा प्रोजेक्ट विल डील विद के मेरे को एम्यूनिटीज सर्विस जो देनी है कस्टमर को उसको साथ डील करना है तो इंडियन रेलवे इज गोइंग टू कंडक्ट मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स इज गोइंग टू हैंडल मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड दे विल बी बिग प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड एवरी प्रोजेक्ट विल बी रिक्वायरिंग इफ आई आस्क यू कि अगर मेरे को कोई प्रोजेक्ट करना है तो मेरे को कौन सा इंजीनियर चाहिए होता है विच इंजीनियर डू आई नीड फॉर पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट You will say, sir, I need mechanical engineer also. I need electrical engineer also. I need a person of finance also. I need a personal fellow also. I need a person who can uh, talk about the managerial domains also. So, me ko har domain ka admi chahiye. Abi presently kya tha Indian railways me? There were eight departments which we already discussed. Jisme kuch departments engineering the jo engineering services ke through aare hain, aur kuch departments civil services ke through aare hain. Jaise aapka personal hai, traffic hai, finance hai, wo aapka uh, civil services ke through aara hai. These are called functional managers. So financial manage, financial manager जो डिस्कस फाइनेंस में कर रहा है दैट इज अ फंक्शनल मैनेजर पर्सनल से जो डील कर रहा है वो फंक्शनल मैनेजर ट्रैफिक से जो डील कर रहा है वो फंक्शनल मैनेजर सिविल डिपार्टमेंट से फंक्शनल उसका फंक्शन वो है सो वी वर हैविंग सम एट फंक्शनल डोमेन्स राइट एंड वेन एवर सम प्रोजेक्ट इज टू बी डन तो अर्लियर वट यूज टू बी देयर वेन एवर अ प्रोजेक्ट कम्स वी वर थिंकिंग वो प्रोजेक्ट किस सिलोज में या किस वर्टिकल हरार्किकल सिस्टम के अंदर डाल दें किस डिपार्टमेंट को दें द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट इज टू बी डन विच डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेलवे शुड आई गिव दिस प्रोजेक्ट टू एंड दैट डिपार्टमेंट वॉज अलूफ दैट डिपार्टमेंट वॉज नॉट रिलेटेड टू अदर डिपार्टमेंट दैट वॉज सेपरेट नो दिस डिपार्टमेंट इज अ सिविल डिपार्टमेंट यू विल हैव ऑल द सिविल इंजीनियर्स हेयर मे बी यू विल नॉट हैव अदर फंक्शनैलिटीज तो अब एक प्रोजेक्ट जब आया उस प्रोजेक्ट में रिक्वायरमेंट तो सबकी है सिविल इंजीनियर की भी है फाइनेंस वाले की भी है पर्सनल वाले की भी है लेकिन वो प्रोजेक्ट मैंने दे दिया एक डिपार्टमेंट को अब वो डिपार्टमेंट के अंदर बाकी फंक्शनैलिटीज नहीं है ये एक रियल टाइम ट्रबल आता था तो आई हैव टेकन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट जस्ट टू मेक माई पॉइंट क्लियर कि जैसे से ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कंप्लेक्स होती जाती है जैसे से ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बड़ी होती जाती है उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के प्रोजेक्ट्स कॉम्प्लिकेटेड होते जाते हैं तो उन प्रोजेक्ट्स को हैंडल करने के लिए देर इज ऑलवेज अ नीड ऑफ क्रॉस फंक्शनल टीम्स 
and we have already discussed the topic called concurrent engineering so to handle those projects always concurrent engineering is required where uh, multi multi uh, specialty uh, domain uh, is required and people from different functional domains are required and in such situations there is a requirement that uh, uh, different departments are related to one another this department is related to this department and one project is to be handled by all the people whether that they are from this department or that department so that particular requirement um, is met by matrix organization so what is the matrix uh, organizational structure so this is the structure in which you can basically have different functionality teams and you can have different projects and one project can take the people from different functional domains that is the meaning of it and typical example of that now is what we are thinking of indian railways will be so i think uh, this uh, small diagram is clear to us manufacturing manager and this is entire domain of manufacturing manager project a project b project c may be requiring the services of project manager sorry manufacturing manager similarly project a may be requiring sales manager project a may be requiring financial manager human resource manager so project a ko is a required requirement of every functional manager so this particular thing is possible in uh, matrix organization only why this is called a matrix because you know there's a horizontal and vertical kind of things not purely vertical silos okay let's go uh, now and read line by line and i explain you the meaning of this particular thing what is uh, matrix organization structure and as i told you uh, in this particular organization structure how do you know simply okay, this is a matrix organization structure uh, in this kind of structure you know if there is some employee that employee will be reporting to this manager also and that manager also there will be one project manager who will be basically handling the project so the employee will be reporting to project manager also and the employee will be reporting to manufacturing manager also because now both uh, manufacturing manager and project manager are working on particular domain so the is domain mein us project mein jo employees honge they will be reporting to this also and this also aisa nahi ki project manager a ne apne 10 log liye 10 people liye and he is only basically doing his project with these 10 people no if project a requires employee from sales department to this project manager will ask sales manager to send employee for this particular project so that particular employee will be reporting to sales manager also and project manager also i hope concept is clear to us to so, uh, isme jo matrix organization hai usme one thing is very clear that the employee or the worker reports to more than one supervisor or boss and uh, uh, this relation is uh, shown in this particular diagram as you can see this solid lines are made and this relation is shown in this particular direction now uh, there is a cross functional cross business uh, teams are required uh, to complete any particular project because in a project there is a requirement of different domains uh, first of all this kind of matrix management came in us aerospace industry in 1950s as you know uh, 1950s was the era when world war 1 you know world war 1 ka timings kya tha so world war 1 39 se 45 ke beech mein tha 1939 to 45 after 19, second world war in which us was also involved and pearl harbor all of us of uh, no pearl harbor was attacked by japan through air on uh, the port of america and after that us decided to develop its aerospace uh, very well you know and lot many projects came in us aerospace industry in 1950s and when lot many projects came similar to what now we are observing in indian railways so when many projects came there then they uh, thought of that there is a need of this kind of matrix organizational structure and this is how it all evolved dekho thoda link banaya karo yaar taiyari karte time ki 19 50s में एरोस्पेस यूएस तो 1950s में ऐसा हुआ क्या भाई यूएस ने एरोस्पेस डिपार्टमेंट ने सडनली मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के बारे में सोचा बिकॉज 1950s वाज एरा व्हिच वाज रिलेटेड टू वर्ल्ड वॉर 2 एंड वर्ल्ड वॉर 2 इज रिलेटेड टू पर्ल हार्बर यूएस एज यू नो वाज नॉट इन्वॉल्वड इन द बिगिनिंग वर्ल्ड वॉर 2 में बट लेटर ऑन बिकॉज ऑफ द अग्रेशन बाय जापान दे स्टार्टेड डूइंग दिस सो दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू मेक द लिंकेजेस सो दैट यू रिमेंबर दीस पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स okay let's read further now matrix organization structure is actually the combination of two or different type of organizational structures matrix ka matlab ye hota hai combination right and isme hum kya karte hain what we do we try to basically combine different organizational structure 
in a balanced way so chain of commands are two there are two chain of command you understand what is the chain of command that means if i am an employee and i am to report to project a project manager and i am to report to sales manager also because i am a sales person right i am working in a sales department but i am working in the project also something like that so i am to report two people okay so functional activities are handled by functional manager and project is handled by project manager so there is a functional manager there is a project manager and employee is to basically handle both so these are role uh, are very fluidic fluidic kya hota not solid matlab bilkul clearly defined nahi hota ek main disadvantage matrix organization ka ye hai ki there is always a confusion about what role i am to do what function i am to do that is not very clearly defined or fixed so balance of the power between two is not organizationally defined ki how much authority project manager has i am employee i am working i am to report to project manager also i am to report to sales manager also suppose there is a work sales manager says yaar is kaam ko aaj hi khatam karo project manager says you do this work today only i am i cannot do both the work today so i, I tell both of them ki i could not do it ab there is always a tussle बिकॉज इंटरपर्सनल ट्रबल्स ऑलवेज कम तो वो बहुत क्लियरली डिफाइंड नहीं है ये चीज के दिस इज हाउ यू आर टू डू एंड दैट रिमेन्स वन ऑफ द मेन कॉज वन ऑफ द मेन ट्रबल इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर सच मैट्रिक स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो वट है इन मैट्रिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर वी ट्राई टू गेट द बेनिफिट of all the kind of structures which are presently we are using so there are structures functional structures there are uh, managerial domains so hum un sab ka benefit lete and try to get the best out of it you know there are organizations which are basically doing only same kind of thing i mean they are producing the same product and uh, uh, their uh, product variation is not much so they are not dealing with the projects where cross functional team is required in such organization traditional vertical or hierarchical structure will work like indian railways aaj tak uh, maybe they never thought of uh, basically outsourcing many projects or seeking the experts Uh, opinion from outside uh, indian railway did not think but then uh, the time has come when indian railways to cater to lot of people pressure and customer pre- pressure and quality services are to be given so they thought of now coming out with a lot of modernization projects wo pehle nahi tha to pehle simple hierarchical structure se kaam chalta tha lekin ab because there was a need of doing lot of modernization projects hence there was a need of such matrix organizational structure in which you cannot complete the project unless and till you basically seek the help or advice or efforts of cross functional uh, managers or teams that is the meaning of it okay so what was the origin what where was the origin of matrix organizational structure let me tell you uh, basically it was it is a response matrix organization structure is a response to uh, the large scale somebody ask you ye matrix organization structure aata kyu hai you will say large scale projects as i told you indian railways 50 lakh crore ke projects we want to do railway minister told this ki we want to go with this kind of projects so when large scale projects are to be done and those projects required the help of cross functional basically activities that means there is a need of uh, electric engineer there is a need of a person with management skills also so when such team is required then you do not have any other option but to go for cross functional uh, this particular uh, hierarchical structures sorry uh, matrix organization structure is required in these kind of situations okay and second is when you want fast track basically application uh, to process a lot of data in a efficient way when lot of information is coming lot of data is coming because whenever there is a project which is very big project and you also know that project is basically group of activities where resource are utilized hum logo ne pert and cpm we have discussed and i have also told you that in a project there are different phases and all phases are majority of them are overlapping so in any project especially when it is big especially when it is complicated complex there are different people used there are different resources used man material machine 
एंड हैंडलिंग सच प्रोजेक्ट इज अर्क्यूलियन टास्क इज अ डिफिकल्ट टास्क तो ऐसे केस में मेरे को जब बहुत सी इंफॉर्मेशन मेरे पास होती है रिलेटेड टू मटीरियल प्रोसेस टाइमिंग कंस्टेंट्स रिसोर्स बजट वर्क ब्रेक डाउन स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट अंटायर ब्रेक डाउन पार्ट ऑफ दैट वर्क पैकेजेस टास्क सो ऐसे केस में डेटा एनालिसिस के लिए ना हमें बहुत एफिशिएंटली प्रोसेस को बेसिकली uh, एनालिसिस करना पड़ता है एंड इन दैट सिचुएशन ऑब्वियसली मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर की रिक्वायरमेंट पड़ती है एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन क्या आएगा व्हाई डू यू नीड मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर सर व्हेन द लार्ज स्केल प्रोजेक्ट्स आर देयर प्रोजेक्ट्स आर मल्टी फंक्शनलिटी प्रोजेक्ट्स कॉम्प्लिकेटेड प्रोजेक्ट्स सर व्हेन लॉट ऑफ डेटा इज टू बी एनालाइज्ड व्हेन लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज टू बी एनालाइज्ड तो वहां पे हम इसकी रिक्वायरमेंट पड़ती है दिस इज द वर्ड इन Interdisciplinary basically teams are required, and you do not want to upset functional organizational structure. Also, I do not want to disturb the sales department. I do not want to hire a sales person in my project every time. So I want to take the benefit of the sales person which is already there in my organization for this. Let me give you another example here. You know, I am teacher. I am teaching you project management. I am teaching you values and ethics. But I am a teacher of mechanical engineering also. So my regular functional department is mechanical engineering. But when I am making the video on project management, then I cannot have a dedicated professor or teacher for project management. I need to take the help of Saklani sir for environment because he is good in that. But he is also teaching machine design. He is also teacher of uh, design part in, in mechanical engineering. Or for that matter, Anshu sir, he is a general studies faculty, but he is also teaching. here uh, different domains functionality means mechanical department civil department uh, general awareness general studies department suppose and uh, then what is the uh, this activity what we are doing on, under a project engineering services is one project engineering services mein these are the domains we have to cover so without compromising on our functional domains we should cover up this particular part also so whenever there is a this kind of cross functional requirements we go for this kind of things okay they were first developed by aerospace industries uh, because they were growing in complexity and uh, basically single hierarchical organization is only uh, uh, working when there is a single product and maybe it can be large scale project but it has to be single project that is the meaning of it okay when two or more projects and varieties are different and when you, your organization is handling two or more projects and their varieties and complexities are more there is a need for expanding beyond particular discipline so you know uh, there is a need of uh, uh, particular information responsibility single source hona chahiye but at the same time uh, you should have basically functionality teams also so what you do is as i told you you cannot create uh, different project and all functionalities in different project as i told you that uh, uh, suppose uh, uh, let me give you example engineering services पेपर वन लेट से उसके लिए हम जानते हैं देर आर टेन डिपार्टमेंट्स इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस पेपर वन टेन डिपार्टमेंट्स मैथ्स इज ऑल्सो देयर हु इज टीचिंग अस मैथ्स त्यागी सर डू यू थिंक डू यू थिंक त्यागी सर कैन बी ओनली अंडर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस पेपर वन नो त्यागी सर इज टीचिंग फॉर गेट ऑल्सो ही इज टीचिंग फॉर मैथमेटिक्स अदर डोमेन्स ऑल्सो सो बेसिकली त्यागी सर इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द मैथ्स डिपार्टमेंट सिमिलरली सपोज आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग मकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट we have other mentors like parji sir he is from electrical department so that are the functionalities but we are catering to this project also this is the project and these are the functionality so there are mentors from these functional departments and they are working in this particular project also so what happens is i cannot create the team under one particular project but for that project whatever you need you can take from functional department that is the matrix organizational structure you know what is the meaning of pros pros and cons advantage and disadvantage that is the meaning of pros and cons so let us discuss what are the advantage and disadvantage so what is the advantage of matrix organization uh, advantage is uh, it allows the sharing of highly skilled resources between functional department and project department that is the first most important i just now i gave you example of tyagi sir he is a mathematical department right we could seek the help of tyagi sir for engineering services paper 1 module that was a project you know it started in june and we completed it uh, in november december so that was one module one project and in that project i was needing the help or requiring the help of uh, mathematics uh, let's say aptitude let's say project management environment so i could take the people from different domains 
तो सबसे बड़ा एडवांटेज यू कैन टेक स्किल्ड पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट फंक्शनलिटी डिपार्टमेंट कम्युनिकेशन आर ओपन आई मीन एवरीबडी सिट्स टूगेदर एंड टॉक अबाउट द डोमेन्स आई एम टीचिंग प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट बट आई एम डिस्कसिंग इट विद अदर मेंटर्स ऑल्सो लाइक सिकलानी सर के सी सर दिस इज द टॉपिक कैन यू हैंडल इट एंड यू ऑल्सो नो दैट सम टॉपिक्स इन प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट लाइक फोरकास्टिंग एंड इन्वेंट्री इज हैंडल बाई सिकलानी सर नॉट बाई मी सो दैट मीन्स देर इज communication cross communication between the uh, uh, mentors and between the managers for particular project so knowledge sharing keeps on going and ultimate benefit is more collaboration you know the meaning of that integrated approach uh, basically communication is free dynamic organization these are the advantages of matrix organization and you know uh, the people who want to really grow and this is a new experience if you ask me sir you have been teaching mechanical engineering industrial engineering for so many years and now you have taught project management in engineering services is a good for your career or not certainly yes it is a good for my career because here i can prove myself as a good mentor of this paper also so that will give me advantage in teaching so career growth ke hisab se from the perspective of career growth employees in such organization can grow very high and that is what now if you remember railway minister also said that whosoever is working 8400 high management employees all engineering services wale log aur jo civil services se aate hain 8400 log hain wo employees hain railways mein un un sab ko irms mein merge karenge to unka career grow karega they can now think of growing and jo abhi maine aapko bataya tha ek session hua tha delhi mein un sare employees ko pucha tha usme un sab ne bola we want to get into this we want to get into irms why because maybe they thought this is going to help so that the same thing we are discussing here ki usme unki growth opportunities employees ke liye those who are looking for good growth in career they get this particular thing fine fast learning opportunities फंक्शनल डिपार्टमेंट्स के पास हाईली स्किल्ड लोग होते हैं तो आपके पास एक पूल ऑफ एक्सपर्ट होता है एंड दैट गिव्स यू फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी आल्सो टू गो फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ डोमेन्स like many students were asking if irms comes now what will be the difficulty we we are not bothered you know because we know that if you have experts then very easily you can create a module you can basically do that particular thing and you can serve the uh, domains very efficiently so if you have experts any project can be easily handled only thing you require is you need to have pro, uh, experts with you you need to have uh, basically uh, that people with experience and then they can handle the project very efficiently so efficiency is enhanced and uh, job security is strengthened in such environment in uh, such kind of matrix organization structure uh, employees enjoy more job security can you tell me how it is possible it is possible because they get expert and you know job security comes from your expertise if you are expert in your domain you have nothing to worry in your job and in your career so job security should not come from the organization ki main sarkari naukri mein chala gaya mere ko kabhi nahi nikal sakte that is a false concept of job security uh, actual concept of job security should be ki sir i am such a wonderful teacher i am such a wonderful doctor i am such a wonderful professional lawyer ki main jahan bhi chala jaunga to because of my expertise i will be in position to create career for me that is called job security not ke tere ko nikal nahi sakte chahe tu kaam kare chahe na kare tere ko bhai koi nahi nikal sakta ye job security hai. that is not a right concept of job security right that is not the way so this is the meaning of this particular part ab bhai disadvantage kya hai iska matrix organization ka disadvantage kya hai sir isme confusion bahut hota hai because one employee is reporting to two bosses two chain of commands to usme confusion bahut hota hai because uh, uh, then sometime he is giving you some instruction that fellow is giving you instruction clearly defined nahi hai role you are confused yaar main kis ki sunu that particular trouble comes conflict bhi aate hain because interpersonal issues are always there and there is a functional manager there is a project manager authority ka issue aata hai roles and responsibilities are not clearly defined and hence issues of conflict are always there and you know what there is always uh, uh, basically Uh, there is always some kind of expenditure in uh, incurred on these kind of things jab aap matrix organization banate ho to financially uh, aapke upar burden badhta hai organization ke upar financially burden badhta hai jaise ye project efficiently jayega uh, everything will be done, done efficiently but cost part is also there second is the people employees are under stress are under stress as i told you when you have to do project in time and there are people observing you and those people sometime are not the people with whom you keep on interacting every day jaise ek functional manager main sales department mein maine kabhi kaam nahi kiya but ek project ke liye mere ko naye project manager ke under kaam karna pad raha hai so i am to report to a new guy you know new boss so every time when you get a new boss 
यू उसके साथ अडेप्ट होने में टाइम लगेगा सो दैट कैंड ऑफ स्ट्रेस आर ऑलवेज देयर बर्न आउट सिचुएशन भी इसमें आपकी हो जाती है सो एज ए टोल्ड यू ओवरऑल एक्सपेंसिस होते हैं इसके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर के एंड मल्टीपल मैनेजर्स की रिक्वायरमेंट पड़ती है आपको सिस्टम क्रिएट करना है सारा एंड उसमें खर्चा आएगा एज एज ए टोल्ड यू इन इंडियन रेलवे में वेन वी आर सेंग वी आर टू स्पेंड दिस मच ऑफ मनी तो आपका एक्सपेंडिचर उसमें होगा देर इज अ मीनिंग ऑफ इट सो वाई डू वी नीड मेट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर सर वी नीड इट टू हैंडल एंड मैनेज लार्ज एंड कंप्लेक्स प्रोजेक्ट सो थिंक ऑफ 50 lakh crore project of indian railways you will understand why you need matrix organization structure highly uh, jo hierarchical structure hai wo kaam nahi karta that is what railway minister said ke jo silos hain ya departmental wise thinking thi that is not going to work now now thinking should not be department wise thinking should be project wise i am to handle the project and the employee should never think ke main is department mein kaam kar raha hu employee should think ke main is domain mein kaam kar raha hu this is my strength and i am to work in that particular strength also right this is what the advantage of uh, this structure is now uh, you know uh, problem of having function and skill fragmented in organization uh, makes it difficult to handle the लार्ज प्रोजेक्ट यही मैंने आपको बताया था कि इंडियन रेलवे को अब ट्रबल क्यों आ रहा है कि बहुत बड़े प्रोजेक्ट को हैंडल कैसे करेंगे बिकॉज टिपिकली अवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर वॉज लाइक दिस टॉप डाउन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर टॉप डाउन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर हरार्किकल वर्टिकल स्ट्रक्चर वॉज देयर बट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्लेस इट विद मेट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर इन विच यू डू नॉट फेस दो प्रॉब्लम विच एक्चुअली आर इन द कन्वेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर प्रॉब्लम ओके आई थिंक वी हैव कम टू एन एंड ऑफ दिस सो आई एम आई एम श्योर जितना मैंने आपसे डिस्कस किया है मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर का दैट इज मोर देन सफिशियंट एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस क्या है व्हाई डू वी नीड दिस काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज मोर देन सफिशियंट जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट फॉर द एग्जाम एंड इसके 10 क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड वेरी सुन फर्स्ट यू सी दिस वीडियो एंड देन वो दस क्वेश्चन आप लगाना बाई इवनिंग और टूमोरो आई अपलोड दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो एंड ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर यूर एग्जाम कीप प्रिपेयरिंग थैंक यू 